So um, I, I want to talk about weddings. And if you guys are a wedding and portrait photographer, you know, we just launched a bunch of polls about this, about what your goals are. It sounds like your goal, a lot of you guys, is to land those ten to $15,000 weddings. And I want to know, okay, well, if, you know, if you are uh, not shooting those ten to $15,000 weddings, why not? What, what's held you back? Is it your, uh, is it your wedding album um, content that you have in your portfolio that you're showcasing to the clients on a daily basis? Is it your, um, is it your website? Uh, do you feel like it's your branding? Um, do you feel like you just don't have a big enough audience? You don't have enough customers? You know, what's the deal? How come? What, what's holding you back from landing those huge clients that are willing to spend the money and they're not going to nickel and dime you? They're not going to nickel and dime you on every little detail with price because you know what? I can't stand those clients. I don't even want to deal with them. And I, first of all, want you guys to think about it this way. You, I want you guys to target the most ideal clients, the ones that, you know what? They're not sitting around trying to nickel and dime and price out this photographer versus that photographer and try to get the best deal. I'm looking for the clients that are going to be proud to talk and say, hey, you know what? I just hired Mary Peacock on a $15,000 wedding. I just hired Kenneth Alexander Scott to shoot my $12,000 wedding. How much did you spend on your wedding? And if their friend says, oh, you know what? It was, I got a, you know, I, I got them for like four grand. Oh, well, you know what? I bet that in that little circle of those kind of, you know, wealthier community, they're not gonna respect each other. They're gonna be like, oh my gosh, like if I spent 15 grand, you spent four, your wedding photography is going to be crap. And that's a perception of high-end clients that it's, it's, you get what you pay for. And if somebody's charging two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 a wedding, do you really respect that? Do you really think that they're going to knock it out of the park and be the top wedding photographer in the world? Do they really think that you're a world-class top fashion photographer, a nationally published fashion photographer that just happens to shoot weddings? Right. <laughs> and you're just, you know, charging two, three, four thousand dollars a wedding. Well, no, these clients, they're not even gonna consider you. They're gonna be nauseated by that. They want to brag to their friends. And there's a whole demographic of this. You know, there are, I know certain pockets of the country where it's more rural. I grew up in a place like that, you guys. I grew up in a little village of two thousand people in rural Michigan, the middle of nowhere. Okay. And I grew grew up in a the West Michigan Dutch community where everybody's super, super cheap doesn't want to spend a dime. I get it. I get it. I grew up in that, mar in that market. But even in that market, there are high level clients. There are wealthy pockets and communities. You know, if you go to the east side of the state in Michigan, you go to an area called like West Bloomfield or Birmingham, areas like that where you have ultra, ultra wealthy uh, communities, they brag about how much they're spending on their wedding photography. You want to target the audience that is spending 70, 80, $100,000 a wedding, $150,000 a wedding. And there are tons of them out there. Literally thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands in the world that hire photographers at that level and do those high-end weddings. They do. And I know that a lot of our photographers that I get to mentor and coach, sometimes they get way more than that. You know, I mean, I, I mentored a, a photographer named Chad who um, his uh, uh, husband was a wedding planner. And you know what? Chad was... Uh, discussing his like, uh, you know, his, his husband planned a wedding that was an over million dollar wedding, over a million dollars for the wedding. So you better believe that the photography <laughs> was a big budget as a photographer. A, photo a client that's going to spend that kind of money is going to spend a ton of money on their photography because the only thing that lasts after a wedding is your photography. That's it. Most marriages don't last now. <laughs> it's certainly not the food. Nobody even remembers it. It's not the beverages, it's not the open bar, you know, it's not the floral arrangements, it's the photography. And the only people, the only thing that the guests even hang on to really might be the wedding invitation, right? Might be the wedding invitation. So let's make that wedding invitation freaking mind blowing for their client. Let's give them some value. You guys ever thought about that? Instead of just trying to compete on price, have you ever thought about competing on, val on what kind of value, what kind of, um, value add can you bring to the table? Uh, to me, that's really important. You know, what is really, you know, what can we add to the client to get them excited enough 
to want to book you for that high level photo shoot, right? I want you to really think about that. Okay. So I want you guys to really, you know, sit down and be like, all right, what can I do for the client? And especially in this time, you know, with, we've got this whole chaos right now, with the shutdown of the country, you know, if the more value we add to the client, the more excited and the more they're going to want to work with us. And when I say adding value, what I'm talking about is, hmm, let's, uh, let me see, maybe we could do an engagement photo shoot for the client. You know what? Engagement photo shoots are kind of boring. Everybody does them. What if we do something really special? What if we do something like stage a large scale fashion shoot? In fact, maybe even get it published. What if we did that? What if we not only staged a massive scale fashion shoot of that couple, but maybe we could submit it for publication in a wedding magazine or who knows if they're a pretty couple, maybe even a fashion magazine. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to show you some personal stuff here. Um, this is actually what I did at my wedding. And I ended up spending more on my wedding photography and engagement photography than I did at my own wedding. Okay. I spent a much larger budget on my photography than I did at my wedding. Because for me, I knew the only thing that's going to last is the photography. So this is actually a, an invitation that, um, that was sent out. Um, and I created like basically a little magazine. And this was me and my wife. We staged a large scale fashion story where I brought in a top wardrobe celebrity fashion stylist from West Hollywood. We brought him up to Napa, or I'm sorry, we shot this in Malibu at the Getty Villa, which is one of the most incredible locations in Malibu. And we shot this epic high end fashion story. And we created our own magazine editorial that we showcased to the clients. Do you guys do this to your clients? Who here, right, go ahead and write in the chat, who here does this for their clients at this level? Because if you guys do, you should be charging ten to $15,000 a wedding, period, without question. Because this is a lot of added value to the clients. How cool would it be if they can actually mail their wedding invitation to their clients that look like this? How excited do their clients gonna be, right? This is amazing. And then this is, we created like a website, you know, they can go on and they can do the registry or whatever. But this is gonna be the invitation that I mailed to them. Something like this, this is a huge added value that you can create for your clients to get them to charge, to, to get them to believe that if, they, if you charge more money, that you're worth it, absolutely worth it. You're an absolute steal if you can do that. I think that's important. I think that if we are gonna think about charging more money, well, many of you are like, well, why? How can I get away with that? How can I justify uh, charging 10 to $15,000 for a wedding, right? And I know that many of you guys probably think about that. Like, oh, my clients will never pay more than two grand or four grand or six grand or whatever. Maybe that's true. And you know what? Maybe we should think about finding new clients if that's the case. Maybe we should think about, you know what? If that kind of client is not willing to spend more than like two or three grand, maybe we should start looking at other clients. Maybe we should ditch those clients. Maybe we should just increase the prices. If those clients are willing to pay it, great. And if they're not, cut them loose, find new clients. I want you guys to really think about that. Let's look for those high tier clients that are willing to pay for what you, know, you feel like you deserve, because that's important. Does that sound good to you guys? Because it sounds good to me. And I coach my photographers literally all the time about this. All right, so um, the, before I get into kind of the next section of what I wanna showcase as far as added value that I'm gonna add to my um, brides is that I'm going to answer some of your guys' questions because I, and I love this. You guys have a ton of Q and a right here and I want to make this a very conversational. Um, so uh, I've got a question here from James French. Okay. So James, I know hopefully you're on, we've got a, um, we've been a high end studio for 30 years, but now people think their iPhone does it just fine. Need to be able to market our product in this tough industry where everyone with a digital camera thinks they're a photographer and sell all their images for $500. Yeah, that's, that's fair. You're absolutely right. Everybody has one. Everybody has an iPhone. Everybody has an uncle with like a little Canon Rebel, right? Everybody does these days. I get it. And, and that's brutal. Like that's, but you know what? Again, those clients are not the clients we want. So if the clients are willing 
to trust their wedding photography with an iPhone or with their uncle to have a, you know, a Canon Rebel to shoot some garbage photography, then you know what? I want you guys to really think about maybe we should look at some new clients. Maybe we should market to that top tier industry of clients. And you know what? We're going to have a whole section on marketing. Um, we have an epic workshop that we have coming up in Napa Valley of every detail you would ever want to know about how to maximize your marketing and how to maximize profitability as a top tier wedding photographer, how to do it at the highest level, how to become a world class top wedding photographer, a photographer that demands higher prices, a photographer that is literally out there commanding you know, the ability to be able to, to work with clients that are like, you know what, I'm not going to nickel and dime. In fact, I want to, I want to buy three more of these weld wedding albums. I want to get wedding albums for, you know, all the grandparents. I want to, you know, buy these like beautiful flush mount albums for, for them all. Right. So upcoming, we have this epic experience, you guys. And I highly, highly recommend you guys attending. This is the first time we've ever done this in history. Um, with the photography workshop series in 11 years, we have an epic wedding photography workshop. And right here, these are actually all images shot at our past workshops by attendees. In fact, these were shot by Veronica Jankowski, published in Vintage New York City Magazine. We work with these insane designers and top tier supermodels at an epic castle estate and photograph some of the most incredible imagery to market to wedding photography that you could possibly imagine. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing in Napa Valley. We're going to be literally staging a wedding. We're going to be bringing in top tier agency represented models. We're going to bring in um, brides, grooms, flower girls, bridesmaids. We're going to have the whole nine. And, we're, and these are professional models. These are not just the boring, like average Joes that you're getting, you have to photograph every Saturday and Sunday on the weekends. These are real deal top models. And we're going to stage an actual wedding fashion shoot. And we're going to create something magical. We're going to create something that could be published in a nationally published magazine, just like this one. And we're going to be shooting this on location at an unbelievably spectacular vineyard. It's going to be incredible. So I, if you guys are interested in learning how to market, we're going to get in depth there at that epic experience. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if you guys are interested in coming to one of these epic experiences, I want you guys to let, let us know because, um, because this is the first one we've ever done. And most of our photographers that attend our workshops are wedding photographers. Uh, since literally today is like the first time we're um, announcing it. Um, and it's up on our website. Literally, we put it up on the website today. Um, it's going to be sold out. Uh, probably by the end of this week. So I, um, I want to make sure that if you guys do want to attend, you let me know um, immediately because this is an experience of a lifetime that is literally going to catapult you to that next level. It's going to give you that top quality that you're going to be able to create mind-bending images that, and video production because we're going to be shooting with 4K uh, high-end video production with gimbals, sliders, aerial drone, and creating massive scale production um, with staging a world-class top fashion engagement shoot on the shoot day, on day two. On day three, we're going to be shooting an epic high-end wedding fashion editorial, just like you saw. And then on day four, we're going to have a whole nother wedding uh, fashion editorial with a whole nother series of models that are new brides and grooms. And this is the kind of stuff that's literally, it's going to separate the men from the boys. It's going to create that brand, that mm. world-class top wedding brand, where you can now catapult to the next level and immediately demand those $15,000 weddings. And you guys, we're also gonna teach you how to market to those clients, how to get in touch with those clients, how to maximize those connections and relationships so that you can start working with that top tier clients and you can literally kind of just say goodbye to all those low end nickel and diming clients that just you know, aren't gonna give you, uh, you know, what you're really looking for. So if you guys do want to attend that epic experience, um, I'm going to put a link here. Um, this is to attend um, the wedding workshop. Um, this is uh, going to be in Napa Valley. It's a four-day world-class experience. 
and you can enroll there. Anyone that enrolls with this link um, can enroll with just a, a small deposit. Um, we're just uh, with only a thousand dollar deposit. We're giving, gonna give you anyone that enrolls with that link a five hundred dollar discount off of enrollment in the workshop. So if you guys do want to do it, definitely, definitely join. Um, but that that's an amazing experience. All right, guys. So um, I want to get to some of uh, some of your questions. So for somebody like James, who's who's asking about, okay, I've been doing this for thirty years, and I'm you know I'm competing with the iPhone clients. We need to brand yourself differently, James, and we need to compete with a whole nother level of clients. We need to compete with the other photographers that are landing ten to fifteen thousand dollar campaign, um, ten to fifteen thousand dollar weddings, and we need to start creating a brand and building relationships with wedding planners and other vendors, giving them kind of opportunities, some incentives for them to start helping you make sure that you are now the go-to photographer, okay? And what I say by that is like, I don't know um, how many of you guys work with wedding planners or other vendors, but oftentimes those tend to be the first line of, um, of, of vendors that, that are being contacted by the, the, um, the bride and groom. Sometimes they don't just go and hire their photographer right away. They want to find their venue. They want to find a wedding planner that's going to figure it all out for them. So if we have a personal relationship with that wedding planner or those vendors, it could even be florists. It could be locations. It could be even uh, wedding videographers that you team up with and incentivize them. Give them some sort of benefit. Give them some sort of financial benefit scratch their back, give them a referral fee and be generous about it. You know, make sure that they are rewarded if they're going to send a client your way and confirm that that client's going to book with you. And I'm being, be very generous. Don't just give them, you know, a hundred bucks or something. I mean, give them something substantial, give them 500 bucks for any, any wedding client that they pass your way. Maybe more depends on how much you're charging. But if you're going for that high tier market, throw them a bone. Give them either a flat rate or a percentage of what that wedding package is going to look like. Because if you can get them to be your advocate to sell your client for you, it's going to be much, 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 much easier. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, I have a, another question here I want to answer. So this is from um, uh, Fear La Grace. Um, uh, she says, or he or she uh, says, um, I don't know if it's my price, is my price high or low when responding to a lead who is uh, requesting my price guide because 99% of them will ghost on me and disappear just after getting my prices. And my start price is 1200 to 2800 Okay. Great question, uh, Fury. Like, I, I think that, um, first of all, that's your first mistake. Never, ever just send a price list. Are you out of your mind? Why would you do that? Don't ever just send prices. Because now you're just a commodity. You're just a product to be bought and sold. Don't do that ever. If somebody's asking for a price list, you need to go and have a consult with them. You need to call them up and discuss it with them in person if you can. If you can't, let's do it via Zoom or at least via phone call. But if they're in your area within an hour and a half, two hour radius of where you live, you should be meeting in person with them. Absolutely as much as possible. And during this time, maybe do it via Zoom, but make sure that you have face-to-face -face before giving prices like that. That's your, that's your biggest mistake. Don't just give people prices. That's what's killing your guys' business. That's making you guys just a commodity that's gonna be, you're just basically now on a race to the bottom. Because what, what that is, $1,200 for a wedding, you've gotta be out of your mind. Guys, anyone on here is, if they're, you guys are charging less than $4,000 a wedding, quit doing wedding photography. It's not worth it. That you're literally shooting for minimum wage at that point, if you're shooting a wedding for $1,200. Because I know what goes into a wedding. It's not just the eight, 10, 12 hours of coverage that you're shooting. It's also all the extra work, all the retouching, all the going in depth about the, the, the pictures afterwards, editing through them, loading them to hard drives, going through all those details, guys. Please. Don't charge $1,200 a wedding because you're killing the industry. You're killing it for everybody else and yourself. And you're putting yourself out of business because $1,200 a wedding is just, it's just not, that's not a professional wedding photographer. I'm sorry. So uh, fear eight, like whatever you do, I want you to at least triple your prices after, after this webinar. And I would strongly recommend you get on a photographic consult with our team 
Um, I shared with you guys uh, the link earlier. Uh, please set up a free photographic consult with us, a strategy session, and we will coach you right through it. In fact, during that epic workshop we're talking about, we're going to go through in depth your pricing structure, how to maximize profitability in your pricing. Absolutely key. Okay. So, um, and by the way, just so you guys know, James French uh, responded to um, Fury's um, message and says that I don't give out prices until we've talked with them. Thank you, James. I really appreciate that's very, very smart of you. Sometimes we know from the conversation they can't afford us. We tell them about our studio, how we're different, ask them all about their wedding, and if they're serious, they'll come in to meet with us. Can't compare apples to apples without seeing their work and meeting you. So absolutely, James, 100%, I think that's fantastic. Do whatever you do. Don't make them just come to your studio. Go to them if you need to. You guys got to be in front of your, your clients. If you're not in front of them all the time, then they're going to go with someone else. Trust me, they will, especially somebody they know. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, Asus uh, said, has a great, great question. People complain about $1,500. How can you charge $10,000 without saying it's too expensive? Again, Asus, we are uh, not in the business of giving away our photography for free. Okay. $1,500. If your customer wants to do it for $1,500, have them do it. You just don't shoot it. Okay. Demand more and go to different customers. We need to find those new customers. And I am an expert at doing that, discovering marketing to the high-end high clientele and making sure to clinch their business, okay? And then if you ask once again, hey, well, how are we gonna clinch that business? What are we gonna do you know, to be able to stand apart from, you know, from the other photographers out there? Well, images like this make you stand apart. Images like this, Put you on another plane. Images like this, photographed by like Brana Gamkowski, and, and um, you know, this will literally take you to the next level. This will catapult you and give you the opportunity to charge those kind of fees and also adding more value. So, adding a high end fashion story that you could shoot as their engagement pictures, adding the opportunity to maybe even shoot a world class fashion wedding shoot and do it with high end lighting and stage it, do something spectacular that could give you that opportunity. But adding more value to the client, maybe even adding video. If you guys um, here, I don't know how many of you guys do video or not do video, but that's hot right now and everybody wants video at their wedding. So if you guys don't do it, I also highly recommend you at least offer that as a package. And even if you don't do video for weddings, bring in another vendor who does. And you can even upsell it. You can even you know, create a, um, uh, you know, add a little bit of extra percent to the fee and basically get paid and then hire that videographer. But definitely always offer it because you want to be able to handle the entire wedding photography and video production budget. Okay. Um, and Brian Farley, thank you for that question. Is video or photo more important for weddings? I still think photo is probably going to be the most important for weddings. However, everybody wants both now. Everybody wants both. But um, generally, every single person out there is going to hire a photographer. Not everybody is going to hire a videographer, but um, if you can do both or at least add that value, Brian, it's going to take you to that next level. It's going to give you that opportunity to, um, you know, to, to basically offer more value to the client, 100%. And feel free to charge for it. Cool. Um, all right. So, uh, Intera Hope asks, I'd like to hear about marketing and Google ratings. Absolutely. Um, marketing strategies is a very in-depth analysis. This is something that um, I do a heavy amount of marketing. Um, I recommend using um, uh, something like a mass email marketing system. Um, I've used them all from MailChimp, Vertical Response to, um, I've used uh, Infusionsoft. Um, I've used um, Constant Contact. I've, I've used probably like maybe nine or 10 different email marketing systems over the years. Um, I've had the best personal luck with Infusionsoft, um, but I also send out 1.5 million emails a month. So I have a lot of expertise in email marketing and, um, and also developing sophisticated email chain follow-ups so that after you email to somebody, they're going to get a chain of another seven more emails that look like they're personalized to each individual person. Uh in, a, in an individualized chain, leading them to, um, you know, to, to eventually buy and work with them. Um, yeah.
So, you know, you guys, if you want to learn marketing, again, we're going to go really in depth at that, at that epic experience um, that uh, we're going to have in Napa Valley. If you guys do want to attend um, that, uh, that experience, um, and we will tell you all aspects. I'm going to be basically, you know, opening up the veil and showing you how I do it and how I capitalize on, um, on my marketing systems. Um, but they are very sophisticated. Um, also, I use a lot of text marketing. Many of you guys probably received a text. Um, I send out tens of thousands of mass texts to clients. Um, and, uh, and also, um, uh, we use Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, Meetup, and, um, uh, and all aspects of communicating on social media. I highly recommend uh, that you guys do that, that you guys get involved with social media because a lot of times um, people really want to have influencers. They want to work with influencers. And I want to make sure that you guys uh, can work with that and make sure that you guys become an influencer in the wedding world. And that is, to me, absolutely key. Becoming a top tier influencer so you become the guru in wedding photography. Why not? Why not? So I think you guys have so much potential um, that I want to make sure that each and every one of you um, gets out there and maximizes the, your photographic ability to earn, to make as much money as possible, and to take it to the highest level of your photographic potential. It's absolutely key. All right. Um, so before I get to some more questions, um, I really want to jump, have Mary Peacock jump on because Mary is an incredible photographer. Uh, Mary Peacock, uh, she's based in the Boston area. Um, you're going to hear her beautiful accent. And um, Mary has now attended workshops all over the United States with us. Uh, you've attended, what, I don't know, four or five workshops or so over the last few years. So, so I'm sorry, six workshops uh, <laughs> over the last two years. And Mary, you know, you're a wedding and portrait photographer. So talk to me about maybe how, um, you know, what you do to add more value to your photographers and maybe how the workshops have actually helped you do that. And maybe sure. That. sure, sure. So um, the workshops have been an absolutely incredible um, addition to my website right off the bat. That's that's the workshops have been amazing for that. Um, my portfolio has catapulted me to the next level. Um, what, what happened was I was stuck, um, like a lot of you with low prices, um, you know, trying to get couples to book me, um, at a certain price and then they would talk me down. That's over for me. I don't do that anymore. It's, you know, I've, I've absolutely got the confidence now. I've got the um, portfolio to back it up. I have Kevin as a, a mentor. I can call him anytime I have a question. Um, but basically the workshops have given me the confidence to charge what I charge. And when you come out the gate with the confidence that I've gotten from these you know, workshops, People don't question it. They, they, first of all, they like what they see. That's why they call them in the first place. Um, then, like I said, I have a confidence now um, from shooting the workshops. Um, for an example, um, we did the, I was at the New York workshop when we went to the castle. You know, it's on my website. Kevin's bringing it up now. Um, I had a couple say to me, where was this? I told them where we were, you know, at a castle. They rented the castle at Crane Estates in Ipswich. In, um, it's uh, right outside of Boston where they filmed uh, Witches, of e Witches of Eastwick, quite a few other movies, uh, Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. They rented the castle out and we did their pitches on the rooftop. I couldn't, if they didn't see those pitches from the workshop, I, I really don't believe the idea would have even been in their heads. Um, Kevin has... Um, taught me that, um, you know, and his staff has taught me that, you know, how to associate with, with people who inquire. I used to give up my pricing as well. I used to, I used to email it right over. Big no, no. I mean, right off the bat, stop doing that immediately. You cannot draw somebody in unless you talk to them first. Then the work speaks for itself. Um, what else, Kevin? What else were you asking me about? 
Yeah. So, okay. So, so it sounds like you built confidence and you kind of right. changed the, the direction. How did the images, because to me, like, I know there's a lot of questions about like, Hey, there's a lot of information out here about price lists and about, you know, marketing and stuff for wedding photography. But what do you think, Mary, um, how do you think that the imagery itself that you're able to shoot with supermodels um, has helped your photography business? Oh, okay. So, well, the models are incredible. Um, the caliber of the models, the professionalism of the models, what Kevin puts together at these workshops is something I could not even touch on my own. Um, it draws in the higher end clients because you're not going to get, if you don't have the stuff to show, they're going to go on to the next photographer. That's just how it's worked for me. Um, these models are unbelievable. Um, we shoot, you know, we shoot all day long. We just go, go, go. But a huge part of the process um, that I've been doing since Kevin brought me in was um, world-class editing. The editing on these images have been that, you know, I have learned from Kevin. Um, it's not just you go to the workshop, you take the pictures, you're done. Um, he has taught me, you know, uh, we do that. We do a, a marketing, you know, it's three days. We're going to be doing a four day one though. Yep, in it's a four-day workshop in, in, uh, Newport, in um, Napa Valley. It will be a four-day experience. Uh, right. It can include um, marketing, the business side of photography, how yeah. to maximize profitability as a wedding photographer. And we're also going to be bringing in a, we're going to be doing shooting on all four days. So we're going to bring in a top fashion model and we're going to do a bridal shoot on day one. We're going to do an epic engagement shoot, uh, just like I was sharing with you um, on day two. Um, day three and day four are going to be something on a whole nother level. So um, this is something that we're going to be doing on day three and four. We're going to be staging a massive scale fashion wedding production. And by the way, um, the example you see here was done by me at my own wedding. And uh, we're going to replicate this, essentially. We're, we shot this at um, this one right here at Castillo de Amoroso in Napa Valley in Sonoma County. Um, we, uh, we shot with Arabian horses, um, or um, as you can see here, it's actually a unicorn. <laughs> and, um, and we shot with about $100,000 in wedding gowns. Um, and we staged this epic production. Now you can do this for your clients and it doesn't have to cost a fortune to do the production of this. It really doesn't. You know, you can buy the dresses on Amazon or you can talk to local wedding designers. Um, you know, you can maybe talk to local you know, vendors that have horses and stuff and get them to, you know, allow you to shoot it for next to nothing, um, as long as you give them pictures of the horse. And find epic locations that are willing to let you shoot out right outside of it. You know, I'd recommend doing this before the wedding itself, just because this is a big day, but this would be an opportunity to add a value add to your client where you could do something uh, like a $15,000 wedding. Well, if you do photography like this, don't you think, Mary, this, this can land you a $15,000 wedding? I was just going to say, if you, you know, I've ha I have these images now to show to people from the workshops. Um, and yeah, it brings them in. It does. It's, uh, um, you know, I'd like to go back to at the actual workshops, what we do. I mean, it's, it's, um, alpha change after alpha change, the, the design, you know, the, the clothes, the hair and makeup, the, the styling, it's all, it, it takes it off you so that you can concentrate on the photography when you're at the workshop. Concentrating on the photography, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a photographer, I want, I want to take photographs. So when, I'm, when I come to these workshops and there's so much at your fingertips and you know, you have grips, you have people just, you know, okay. um, oh. helping you and, you know, with lighting and, um, and it's an amazing camaraderie and you just get together. And when you produce these images, this is the one right here, Kevin, that was at the castle. If you go back um, to the girl on the right um, with the green dress. Oh yeah, so this is what you did for the client. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is what I did for a client. She rent they rented the castle. Um, and they were sold on seeing this. Oh yeah, they they yeah. saw this stuff. So and they then, saw that, yeah. and then they booked you, right. and then you went and did it on your own with them. Right, yeah. and we did an amazing, amazing engagement shoot. This is their engagement, obviously, amazing engagement shoot. Um, their their save the dates were epic. They were amazing. People were absolutely like blown away by the images just at the engagement shoot. Um, something I never thought to do, to be honest. 
until I started taking the, the workshop series because it just never occurred to me, you know, um, to offer these things. Things come up that you just go, oh, I'm going to do that. And, you know, it works. It works because people, you know, a bride and a groom, they want to stand out. They want to stand out. Um, and if they're skimping on their photography, I've, for the first time, I have actually turned down weddings for people who really can't afford me. And I can't even believe I'm saying that. I don't like to turn people down, but I can't afford to work minimum wage. I can't, you know, and I did it for a long time. Um, it was stressful. It was, it was just my, my business was running me. Um, it was very, very, you know, trying. Um, now I feel I call the shots. Um, but I know, like I said, I have the confidence behind me to be able to talk to people and tell them what they're getting and, and they're, they're going to be happy. You know, they're just going to be happy. You there, Kevin? hundred percent. I love okay. it. Okay. I see a so picture. Talk to me but then yeah. about, um, what the experience was like actually at the workshop and creating images of models like Ginger here from Vogue Magazine. Oh. Yeah, I mean, these girls are total professionals. Um, you know, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> how am I even going to, you know, with my brides, like, are they going to look at these girls and say, what, you know, where are these girls? They don't. They, they want to replicate what they're seeing. It makes them, when they see what we do um, or what I've put out there, they're more, they're giving it to me on their wedding day, you know, because they see what we do. Um, before my, you know, my website was, you know, average, very average. I didn't have these girls. I didn't have these clothes, you know, access to take pictures like these. So when I started taking pictures like these, um, I just, I feel like my brides were more comfortable in front of the lens. Um, they were willing to do more things because they saw what these girls were doing. You know, they don't know their models to be perfectly honest. <laughs> like I tell them that, but you know, they see these images and they see what they can get and they really rise to the occasion on their wedding day. And then they add to my portfolio. You know, it's like, I have a lot of girls on my portfolio that really gave, gave me an amazing, you know, they gave me an amazing, they learned how to flirt with the camera, to be honest. But I'm the one who has to, to direct them, you know? I learned how to direct at these shoots. I've learned how to talk with the models. I've learned how to um, direct. I was always the person who sat back and let everyone else do the directing. Now I do the directing. You know, this, this is Ginger here with the red hair. You know, it's like, you know, Ginger, throw your arms in the air. Let that thing fly. And you just shoot, shoot, shoot. And Kevin's right there behind you telling you if you're doing it right. He's not going to leave you for two seconds. I mean, anytime I needed Kevin at these sessions and these shoots, he was there to help, to help me. You know, what are my camera settings here? What's wrong with this picture? He'll look at the back of your camera. He tells you how to get a better shot. Tells you it looks good. Or he tells you to change this, change that. And it goes on all day, the whole day. It's just the most gratifying class. I've done other classes before. Um, they don't compare. They just don't. Um, I, I can, I've done six of these classes. I'm gonna be doing the one in October. And every bit of it is um, an experience. And a, you know, everything in, in the other people who take the class with you, they are, everybody's giving each other advice and helping each other. Um, it's just, it's an amazing experience, you know, um, and I can't wait for October. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a blast, Mary. It's going to be a yeah. blast. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, real quick. Uh, we had a question from Alberto, uh, going back with what Mary just talked about. Question was, how do you get these models? Do you pay, do you pay them? So I think a lot of people attend, um, watching the webinar, uh, maybe they're not understanding why this is the elite webinars in the world. And it's a great question by Alberto, Alberto because we got, models from Sports Illustrated, you know, from Milan, but maybe talk about your connections and why um, they Great get question. to shoot these models. Yeah, because a lot of us, you know, if you guys are wedding photographers, obviously, you know, you shoot weddings and portrait and consumer clients. It's a little hard to contact, you know, uh, Ford Modeling Agency or Elite or Wilhelmina or Next or Vision or IMG, one of these top tier modeling agencies and be like, hey, I'm a local wedding photographer in Iowa and I want to hire, um, you know, uh, four of your top agency represented supermodels that have been in Vogue or top tier magazines um, for a wedding photo shoot. 
like they're gonna just be like, I'm so sorry, but you're not, you know, we're not gonna work with you. Like they just won't even consider you. The modeling agencies won't even consider you if that's the case, especially the top tier ones, right? Um, now, if it's a maybe a, for a wedding designer and you're shooting a, a you know fashion advertising campaign or lookbook for the wedding gown designer and you have a sizable budget and you can pay them several thousand dollars a day, that's different. But for you to do something like this on your own is going to cost a fortune. Typically, you know, oh. the scale of these productions um, it, it ranges between sixty thousand dollars a day and a hundred thousand dollars a day on the scale of the production because we're going to have four full-time assistants waiting on you hand and foot, setting up all the lighting equipment. Um, we're gonna have high-end camera operators. I bring in, in fact, the Newport Beach workshop that's coming up, um, I'm gonna have my top tier camera operators with 8K um, red um, uh, helium cameras, uh, which he's gonna bring in with this whole lens package. It's about $150,000 set um, that he's gonna be bringing just of camera gear. I mean, this is massive scale production that you have full access to. And guys, this work, everything you create at the workshops is yours. It's literally, you own the content, okay? That's the beauty of this. This becomes yours. And just to give you an idea of what the experience looks like, this is from one of our um, fashion photography uh, workshops from a few years ago. Um, and this gives you an idea of what the experience feels like um, and what it's what's going to be like now obviously this one is more on a fashion side uh, the one coming up uh, is going to be um, of course uh, we're going to be shooting um, uh, wedding and portrait photography but it's going to be shooting it in a high-end wedding fashion story format so it's going to be exactly like what you see here like shooting here on the rooftop of the LA fashion magazine uh, on the roof of the LA fashion magazine but we're going to be shooting with wedding gowns, just like you saw at the New York shoot with the castle that Mary photographed um, and that Veronica Jankowski got published. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is what it feels like to do a high-end production. And we bring in over $100,000 with lighting equipment, and you'll be able to create this massive scale production. Yeah, i just like to add that um, I tried to put together my own once. <laughs> um, this is... This is all done for you, of course, um, and worth every penny. I mean, the 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 opportunities and the the styling, like I said before, is absolutely like what you're seeing right here. You know, it's um, I couldn't touch it with a ten foot pole on my own. These these the clothes, the models, the lighting, the everything. But you're learning how how to do all that you know you're learning what goes into it all the styling the hair the makeup the angles i mean you know the where where you need to add bounce where you need to you know maybe add a strobe these are the things these are the questions i had that i could never answer on my own you know there's no there's no rule book really right so when you're in like this high light situation kevin will show you how to light that I mean, every time we go to a workshop, right, Kevin, the lighting is different and he's going to show you how to light it, you know, and you'll absorb it. And it's like, it's like anything else. The more you do it, the, the more you get it. Uh, Kevin, um, Scott Mitchell had a really good question about lighting. He says, in the Napa workshop, lighting specific questions, are we using off camera wireless? Do I bring my own lighting kit for wireless pictures or am I just using my camera and lenses with your lighting presets? Great question. We're going to have all, we're going to bring in about a hundred thousand dollars worth of lighting equipment from Profoto. However, if you want to bring your lighting kits and I can show you how to maximize how to use your lighting on set with a, um, an, an amazing bridal scene, feel free to bring it. Um, you don't need to, you don't, all you need to do is bring a camera. Uh, that's it. Literally show up with a camera and lenses. And even if you don't have that, we have backup Canon 5D Mark IVs. We have all the high end lenses l-series lenses we have all the video production cameras we have everything you could possibly imagine um but uh uh really all you need to do is just show up we'll take care of everything once you're there we're going to have catered food we're going to have world-class top chefs um, making amazing food and having incredible beverages uh we're going to have a world-class production just like it was shooting a shoot for vogue um but we're going to be doing high-end wedding photography um we're going to be doing an epic engagement fashion story just like you you saw with uh this amazing um, kind of wedding invitation. And then we also are going to be doing an epic fashion um, uh, wedding photo shoot, just like you see here, uh, mm -hmm. that is going to be just completely unparalleled. 
So um, great questions though, you guys. And I, and, I, um, and I wanted to also just reiterate, if you guys saw that video, you noticed how at each workshop, it's very carefully uh, put together and very carefully orchestrated. We've directed 120 of these uh, over the years, of 11, over 11 years. So we know how to efficiently make it happen. So it's a very small group. We're only allowing 10 in. I know uh, Carl Brooks, who's, um, I believe he's probably, yeah, Carl's on right now. Carl just attended our virtual workshop. Um, and Carl is already enrolled in the um, wedding and portrait workshop. Um, he already enrolled, even though literally we just put it on our website today. Uh, Mary Peacock um, just is enrolling now. Um, we have only eight spots left. So if you guys want to do it, um, make sure to go ahead um, and uh, set up. Even if you want to set up some sort of installment plan, we also offer that. Um, but just to save and you'll get a $500 discount um, if you guys um, sign up for uh, that workshop in all four days um, with that link. And you get a $1,000 um, deposit and you get $500 discount back. So um, that is an awesome opportunity. And I know this workshop will be sold out just like all of our other workshops. So um, I am really, really excited about it because it's something we've never offered before. And it's gonna be our first most exclusive high-end wedding fashion workshop. And I'm only offering it because of a popular demand. You photographers out there that are wedding photographers have been asking for this for years. And finally, I'm like, you know what? Almost all of our workshops are sold out this year. Let me offer something new and special. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, if you guys go ahead and, um, uh, and by the way, oh, Scott asks, um, if you want to do the Napa workshop, let he's asking how much, uh, is the Napa, Napa Valley workshop. So, uh, the one they, they have different sections for all different investments. Okay. So uh, it ranges between 1295 and 8490 to attend this. Um, the day one is going to be all about the business side marketing taking it to the next level, how to maximize your, your marketing as a top tier wedding photographer, how to get into those high end clients, how to land those clients, how to maximize profitability and pricing. And by the way, guys, in a little bit here, I'm going to go through how to enhance price lists. I'm going to show you uh, a before and after price list of what I did with Mary Peacock here. So where she was charging uh, minimum wedding was $2,500. Now, she's got another range where it's going to be from like 5,400 to 15,000 a wedding, trying to get in that sweet spot where she's earning 10 to 12,000 um, per wedding uh, regularly. So I'm going to show you that step by step actually during this webinar. And we're going to go really in depth at this on day one of the wedding workshop. And we're going to work with you personally to go through your own price list. And I'm going to adjust your price list for you. And I'm going to adjust it, maximize pricing, maximize your portfolio, your wedding album portfolio that you're going to showcase. Um, also um, actual printed portfolios, booklets, things like this that you can showcase to your clients, <coughs> all of your branding, develop you as a brand, as a photographic brand. Um, and we're going to be going into, um, we're going to be even shooting a bridal shoot on day one as well. So we're going to have an epic fashion model as a bride. Um, we're going to be doing some lighting demonstrations to show you how we light it and shoot at that high level, like I just showed you in the video. Um, then day two, and oh, I'm sorry, we're also going to go into advanced retouching methods too for high-end wedding photography. Day two is going to be shooting an epic fashion story. It's going to look like this. It's going to be a, um, a high-end engagement photo shoot. Um, so uh, we're going to be creating something absolutely amazing like this uh, that you can showcase to your clients, um, creating a full-scale uh, little, you know, um, essentially an invite that you can use as an invite or whatever you want to print or whatever, but creating an epic story like this, we're going to do an epic fashion engagement photo shoot with top tier agency represented models, brides and grooms, et cetera. Uh, or I should say fiancés at that point. Then, um, and that's going to be commanding a set. You're going to be shooting for uh, six, seven straight hours, working with all this high-end production equipment, world-class top models, world-class top celebrity stylists, and you're going to have access to all my relationships and connections. We're going to have incredible props, insane production. Um, I believe I'm also going to bring in horses. So we're going to have horses um, at this scene, just like you saw on that epic scene with the unicorn. Um, we're going to have um, just a massive, massive scale production. So uh, if you guys want to do something with falconry, I can arrange that. Um, we are going to go so over the top. It's going to completely blow your mind as far as production, because I can create anything that you could possibly come up with uh, as far as um, creative direction for the workshop. 
Um, and what's beautiful about this is you're pooling together with other photographers to shoot this epic, massive scale production. We're going to be shooting on all four days, walking away with just insane, insane imagery, right? Okay, so that's just day one and two. Day three is going to be all about shooting that epic castle fashion story, right? So that's going to be um, just like you saw uh, shooting this story. We're going to be doing something absolutely mind blowing at an epic Napa Valley vineyard. Um, and we're going to be shooting it um, right around this area uh, with world class top models um, and top styling and epic wedding gowns. We're going to be shooting and staging a full scale wedding fashion editorial. I'm going to have flower girls. I'm going to have brides, grooms. Um, we're going to have uh, um, uh, bridesmaids, et cetera. We're, I mean, it's going to be absolutely mind blowing. Okay, um, and that's day three. Day four, we're gonna do another massive scale production at this level. It's gonna be another uh, fourth and final day of high-end fashion wedding photography, uh, creating something uh, in line with this, just massive scale high-end fashion wedding production. So with new models, so new brides and grooms, so that it doesn't look like you just did one little photo shoot. It looks like you're gonna have a full scale album, a full scale portfolio of all these amazing wedding fashion images that are gonna blow away your clients and catapult you to get into that ten dollars to $15,000 a wedding range, okay? So that's day one, two, three, and four. Um, you can take as little or as much as you want. We have four different tiers. Uh, 1295 to essentially um, uh, attend the uh, the one day day one on the essentials uh, day one and two this is the massive scale engagement shoot um, fashion story as well as um, day one two and three which is traditionally what 90 percent of our attendees do um, and that's for 5990 um, and then we also have an option to do a fourth shoot day um, and this is to really hit home. If you guys are traveling to Napa Valley, might as well take advantage of the entire thing. So you're going to walk away with four massive shoots. Um, and they're all going to be different with different talent, different production. And um, you're going to have unique, epic content. So if you guys want to enroll, um, now is a time. Like I said, you can enroll with as little as just a $1,000 deposit. And um, if you enroll with this link, you'll get a $500 discount um, off of uh, the workshop. So I put it in the chat. You guys can go ahead and um, click there um, if you'd like. So excellent question. And thank you for that, Reza. Um, let's go to a few more questions. Reza, do you have any good ones that you want me to answer specifically? Um, there's one, uh, somebody asked about if they have Canon equipment, would that be really compatible with um, all this, all our lighting and our everything else? Nikon, you mean? Yeah. Uh, well, all of it is, guys. You can use Canon, Nikon, Leica, yeah. Sony, um, any equipment that you want. Um, Hasselblad, it, it doesn't matter. Um, it, honestly, bring any equipment that you desire, anything that you use. If you have a new camera, if you have an old camera, it really makes no difference. The images you create, I guarantee you without a shadow of a doubt, you will shoot the greatest wedding photography of your career. Guaranteed, without question. And I've stood by that for 11 years. And in 11 years of directing 120 of these workshops, without question, every single workshop, every attendee shoots the greatest images of their career. It is mind bending to see. I know Mary has, I know Kenneth Alexander Scott here, uh, who is, um, uh, he's um, uh, also on this as well. Kenneth, you've definitely shot the greatest images of your life at these workshops, haven't you? Yes, of course, yes. So I've, you know, I attended, I think probably about five of them, five workshops and all over the country. And I would say definitely the greatest uh, images I've, I've shot in my, in my photography career. Uh, a matter of fact, um, last year, um, I received a $200,000 project and it was directly, it was what, the most important thing that they were looking at was, you know, a certain type of imagery and lifestyle and um, I nailed it and they had me, uh, they had me work on this project for a year and I loved it. I loved it. And, and you know, it was a $200,000 project. So if it wasn't for your, the images in the workshop, I would have never, you know, I would have never got that job. And that's amazing, uh, Kenneth. I mean, and, and it, your work speaks for itself because it's incredible. And these were all shot at the workshops. They're just mind blowing. Um, but uh, we give you the production. We show you the art direction. And Kenneth is a great photographer already, like most of you guys here attending. Um, but when you have access to this level of production, and this is one of our lifestyle workshops in Newport Beach, by the way. Um, this is Dallas. This is Miami Beach, um, Dallas, Newport Beach, Newport, Los Angeles Masterclass. Um, you know, so he's done workshops all over the country with us. 
and um, and it's really really benefited him. Um, he's he's an incredible photographer, um, and I know Kenneth, you also shoot weddings and portraits and stuff, and you're you're a really talented photographer on that front as well. Yes, yes. Before I went into commercial, uh, yeah, I was wedding I was a wedding photographer, and I would have to agree with both Mary and and yourself is that you know um, when I first started, it was twenty five hundred dollars, um, you know, weddings, and it wasn't the right you know, it wasn't the right client, it wasn't the right locations. And what really made a difference for me was uh, working with a lot of vendors and just building that relationship with them and, you know, talking to them, taking them out to lunch and that's wedding, um, wedding venue, uh, wedding consultants, you name it, you name it. Um, I just went out there and just, you know, put my name out there, the images, and um, I was lucky enough to get a really good wedding and it just took off from there. And my prices just skyrocketed. Uh, I think um, I was doing weddings uh, at anywhere from uh, $10,000 to $15,000 a wedding. Uh, wow. So it was, um, it, was, it was a really, really great, uh, uh, it was very lucrative, you know, and, and I just enjoyed it. I just enjoyed doing it and uh, had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I just wish I had uh, your uh, your workshop before. <laughs> it would have made my job a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, and, you know, Kenneth, you just mentioned a few really key components. Can you go over that a little bit in detail about, uh, you mentioned you keep taking uh, vendors out to lunch, building relationships. Did you have any sort of like referral program? Did you give them a kickback? Like, how did you work with that, Kenneth? What was, what was your secret sauce? I did. I did. Uh, besides taking them out to lunch, I did, give, I did give them a kickback, um, specifically on the venues that I really wanted to work at, right? You know, and I was, really, I was lucky because um, I lived in uh, Livermore at the time, and they had, they had a, over like 100, uh, a little over 100 wineries in that location. And uh, it was a great place to, you know, to, uh, you know, to be a wedding photographer. But I, the locations that I really wanted to, to, uh, to get started and, and, and really showcase my work, I, you know, took them out to lunch. Um, I left albums there, um, I gave them a kickback, and I shared my images with them, and which sometimes a lot of photographers don't want to do, but it really helped me. It really helped me build a, you know, build a relationship with them. And you know, when, I, when I met the bride, um, you know, and, and, and they were referred, it was, again, building a relationship with, um, you know, with the bride, right? And not just talking about how much equipment you have and what needs you've done, but just build that relationship and have interest in their wedding, you know, what's your dress look like? You know, uh, what are the colors? Um, you know, just kind of get to know them. And um, a lot of times that really kind of, that could be the tipping point, um, you know, and, and there are times where, you know, pricing does come in, in, in uh, you know, becoming an issue where they would say, well, this photographer can do it for three or $4,000 less, you know, and I, I don't wish you to tell them, it's like, well, you know, which photography do you like, right, the most? And so well, I like your photography, well, that's my price, right? Um, so I would, I would very rarely, rarely discount my, my pricing. If anything, I would just add more value to it, you know, which be, would, and sometimes it would be like a, a, an engagement uh, session or uh, give them you know, just, just something a, a little bit more, um, but I would rarely uh, discount my pricing. That's amazing. That's wonderful to hear, Kenneth. And, uh, you know, and I think that what he hits home on is like he's selling them on value, right? Kenneth is selling them on value. He's not trying to be bottom barrel, trying to beat with price because no one's going to win that way. You know, like you're not going to win. It's a race to the bottom if you're trying to, oh, you know, somebody just mentioned they charge $1,200 for a wedding. You got to be out of your mind. Don't do that, guys. Like if Kenneth can make ten to 15000 a wedding, why not? Why can't you? Like, I think that, you know, it's, you guys have that capability. We just need to build those relationships. We need to learn the marketing strategies and also have that imagery, right? But the imagery is the hard part because the imagery, um, you know, if, if you don't have supermodels as brides, it's kind of hard to have, you know, have that level of quality of talent, right? Um, I think that, that that can become kind of a, um, a challenge. And that's one of the, the benefits, actually, of the workshop. And I know that Mary and Kenneth have taken advantage of that um, immensely. So, hey, um, Kevin, real quick, um, I, I think a concern for everyone, I think it's a good one to answer. Um, so Fred, who's been asking a lot of great questions, goes, I have a big concern about COVID-19. What will be allowed in California, um, even though this is in, in October? What arrangements are you making in case there's recurrence and things may be limited? Most trips cancellation. So just talk about our, you know, our policy and stuff. 
Okay, well, first of all, um, this is California. Uh, this is uh, my window in Hermosa Beach. As you can see, there's people out on the beach. Uh, California is open, beach is open, and people are out there. Um, there's, uh, um, it's, it's opened up, things have changed. California is a lot looser than a lot of other areas in the country. So um, we are having a July workshop in Newport Beach. Um, and uh, we originally were gonna have it in May, but we had to push back to July. Um, but I am um, fully confident that in mid-July, we will have no problem with um, holding the workshop. Now, uh, one of the things is we are going to request that each attendee, um, just for safety precautions, um, before they attend, we're gonna talk to each one of them beforehand, not only the attendees, but also our production crew, make sure that none of them have had any illnesses, sicknesses, coronavirus, or any sort of fever. Um, we're also going to make sure that we're gonna take everyone's temperature uh, with little temperature guns in the forehead before, when you guys show up each day and we're gonna be um, really, really safe. To me, that's really important. Safety is key. Um, obviously, if you guys are sick, don't, you know, just stay home, come to a later workshop, no big deal. Um, one of the beautiful things about the workshop series and one of the reasons that um, you guys, we have a, by the way, a 95% re-enrollment rate. I looked at our numbers from 2019, 95%, so 95 out of 100 photographers that attend our workshops attend in more than one workshop. Maybe they attend two, three, four. Sometimes Mary attends six. Kenneth, he attended, I don't know, five, six, whatever. Um, Doss Miller, uh, who just joined us, I don't know how many you've attended, but it's gotta be probably like eight. Um, you've attended a ton over the years, all over the country with us. Um, and it's because the quality and the level of production and the care that we give is unparalleled. There's nothing like it in the world, not even close. And that's why our photographers keep coming back. And that's why they see the value of these experiences they increase how much they're earning. They make more money after the workshop. So it makes sense, just keep coming back because the more high quality imagery and the more cutting edge knowledge and strategies that you're gonna learn, the more likely you're gonna make more money and your business is gonna skyrocket. I know if any of you guys joined us on our last webinar a few weeks ago, Mary Vermigula was on there talking about how the workshops, uh, she was able to make four times as much money after the workshops because of the workshops. You know, so for me, that's really empowering for photographers. I want to make sure you guys have that opportunity. If you're worried about COVID or you're worried about your career or you're, you know, um, not getting enough business or whatever, well, let's make more money. The workshops are going to be designed for you to make more money, get more bookings, get higher tier clients, learn marketing strategies, take it to the next level. Um, whether you're a consumer, commercial, uh, either way, we work with all of you guys. Absolutely. Um, so uh, awesome. Um, all right. And by the way, thanks for answering, um, that, uh, that last poll. Um, I also, uh, want to showcase, um, with you guys the, um, another poll. I want you guys to all answer this. If you guys are interested in any of our Epic workshops, which ones would you enroll in to take your photography to the next level? Um, we have, uh, um, we have some absolutely incredible experiences. And um, I want to make sure that each one of you guys uh, is able to, um, uh, you know, to, to basically let me know uh, which ones of these experiences is the most exciting for you. That's, gonna, that's going to be uh, something that uh, you might want to attend, whether it's July in Newport Beach, um, Chicago, uh, um, New York, Napa Valley, um, Elite Masterclass in Los Angeles, the Miami uh, Beach Workshop. Uh, the Denver Winter Wonderland Week workshop. Each workshop is unique. Each one is different. Each one has its own look, feel, and style. And they're designed that way because we want our photographers to develop a very incredible and broad photographic portfolio that can maximize themselves. And if, they, and if especially if you're not in a major market like LA or New York, if we can show that you are a top tier photographer working in those major markets, it gives you a big advantage to have top tier photography in Napa Valley, you know, or if you wanna pursue anything commercially, um, to be able to shoot in Newport Beach and to have that world-class lifestyle photography, right? Um, what does that look like to you? Um, hey, Kevin, real quick, um, a great ever. question by Mayurusi. She goes, I'm a, beginning, a beginner with minimum portrait photography experience. Would this be a good experience for me? Hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Our workshops, um, all of our workshops, with the exception of the Elite Masterclass, are open to newer photographers. 
In fact, not only are they open to newer photographers, I actually get ex ex really, really excited to work with newer photographers because although most of our photographers are seasoned veterans and have been shooting for many years, um, the newer photographers I see tend to have some of the best successes, mostly uh, because they are more open to growing. They are more open to being shaped and to learn. Because if you're a photographer that's been shooting for 30, 40 years and you're not willing to change, your photography is not going to be as strong. Simple as that. We are all about growth. And it's not only you, but also me. I'm constantly changing. I'm constantly trying to be a better photographer and director. Um, I'm a celebrity fashion advertising photographer. I shoot huge six-figure ad campaigns. I'm also the director of the TV show Great Escapes that airs on NBC and the CW. And I am a major influencer in that space. But you know what? I'm here for you to work with each and every one of you to maximize your opportunity, take you under my wing and literally make you the best photographer you can possibly be and maximize that potential. By the way, this is our Chicago workshop. Um, I know some of you guys have attended this. Doss, you've attended this. Um, uh, Mary, have you attended Chicago? I did Chicago, but not this one. Not this one. So we did like a Mad Men fashion story is it what we're going to be doing coming up in Chicago. It's going to be epic. We are adding also a day four to this as well. So there's high fashion uh, editorial, there's lifestyle, and then there's another fashion editorial. So This is the one we did, yeah. Yep, yep. So yeah, she did uh, just incredible slice of life stuff. Um, so this one also, same pricing point, um, but uh, it's going to be based more on commercial photography. Um, however, many of you guys who also shoot weddings, whether you can make the portrait and wedding one in Napa or not, I highly recommend New York because we are following New York Fashion Week, which by the way, it has not been canceled yet, New York Fashion Week, and regardless if it does or not, our workshops are all privately run at private locations. So regardless of what anything happens public in public spaces, we can make them happen as long as we're staying safe and um, following um, uh, you know, orders. So uh, this is all shot at our New York workshop, which I highly recommend. I know Mary attended this one, it was incredible. Um, it was this, my first one, yeah. Yes, yes, and it was just breathtaking what we created here. So we're gonna be doing high-end fashion, um, which also really works conducively to wedding because we're working with the biggest top supermodels out of New York that are usually in town from Milan and Paris. Yeah, so um, any other great questions, Reza? Yeah, there's one we got from California, uh, Zachary says, how much have you seen the amount someone can charge for a shoot based on their new portfolio and skills um, gained from your workshop changed after you know creating their new web page with the images from our workshops? How much, I'm sorry, what, how, how much how more? Much, have have you noticed them change their pricing? Uh, got it, got it, yeah. uh, Massive change, absolutely. I mean, you just heard from Mary Peacock, um, in fact, we're going to show you guys here in a few minutes her actual price change. So I'm going to walk you through her actual pricing package change uh, live, and we're going to show you guys how that's done. Uh, Kenneth Alexander Scott was able to land a $200,000 ad campaign um, uh, you know, opportunity afterwards. I mean, it's, it's incredible the amount of shift that we see in our photographers. Um, <laughs> oh, after, it's going to be literally almost impossible. I want to see to keep going back to the same old, same old, your chances of earning more money uh, per photo shoot is gonna go up drastically just because of the level of quality, the level of production, the level of, um, uh, of knowledge you're gonna be learning, um, the connections you make. By the way, this is our Elite Masterclass uh, that we just did this last year. Um, this was the attendee, Adam Friedman, won the One Island Award of the top 10 fashion photographers of the year uh, from attending this workshop. Um, these are all from the Elite Master. So this is the one in answer to your question, uh, the only one workshop that we don't allow beginners in here. This is our most advanced workshop of the year. We recommend that you take at least two main section workshops first before attending this because it is our most elite, over-the-top, high-end production workshop um, of the year. So, take care, real quick. One we, well, question we always get. Do photographers bring their own model releases or are they supplied? How does it work with the model releases? Great question, yeah. So... Um, you, as a photographer, will own all of the content that you create at the workshop, okay? So you are the sole copyright owner, and you own the images, and you can do anything you want as far as self-promotion, marketing, um, using them for your portfolio, your albums. Um, you can even get them published in editorials. So we're going to have your releases will be for self-promotion, marketing, and uh, magazine editorial. So I get releases from all the models, and I can supply them to all attendees. Um, and um, I always do that at every single workshop. Um, and that's uh, kind of how it works. So 
Uh, we will, I take care of that on my end because I'm the one hiring the models directly from the modeling agencies and I'm the one paying them. So I deal with all the model releases directly. Um, by the way, this is at our Elite Masterclass um, as well. We shot this at the US Olympic Training Facility for Equestrian um, in Thousand Oaks, California. Um, and we shot an epic fashion story. I think, Doss, you attended this one, didn't you? Did you attend this? Oh, I, I thought you did. Um, this was an epic, massive scale production, and it gives you an idea of some of the video content that uh, we create um, at these, these incredible workshops. Um, and then uh, we also have the Miami Beach workshop, which this one's been sold out for like six months. Um, but uh, one spot just opened up because one of the photographers transferred into the um, uh, New York workshop. So um, obviously a different style, look, feel, and style. It's more on swim, resort, lifestyle. Um, but uh, this is going to be a massive scale epic production. If you guys do are interested, Miami Beach, this was shot on location at Key Largo at a mansion in Key Largo with top models from guests, Sports Illustrated, um, and top tier Playboy models. So this kind of content also um, was mind bending. And we did a whole lifestyle section where photographers that are lifestyle photographers and even wedding photographers got a lot out of it as well, um, where it was just sheer lifestyle style and not swim. So um, this one is also very, very exceptional. Cool. Um, all right, guys. Um, so uh, Rez, any more fantastic questions? These are excellent questions. I have like 50 some insane questions on here. Um, no, I think we, all the main ones are, are have been answered. I'm, I'm still s scouting through them. Got um, it. OK. Uh, so I want to make sure you guys uh, answer this one. Um, of those guys that are, uh, that are here, I want to know how likely are you guys to attend one of uh, these epic workshop experiences, whether it's even just a section for only $12.95 doing just a one day, whether it's two days, three days, or all four days. Um, how likely are you guys uh, to attend one of these epic experiences? Because I know that these experiences literally will completely catapult your photographic career. I guarantee it without a shadow of a doubt, it will change your photographic direction without question. So it's gonna be the best investment you could possibly make in your photographic career, uh, period. And that's why we design them specifically around photographers like you to maximize your photographic potential. It's absolutely um, key. So um, please guys, uh, go ahead and answer that and let us know so that we know. And if you guys are interested, um, please make sure to set up a um, photographic consult. We are offering a free uh, 30 minute photographic strategy session with our photographic consultants. Um, and uh, that I'd say take advantage of that because we don't always do that. And um, it's uh, just something we're doing as a service. I put the link here um, in the chat um, and you'll set up a free consult with one of our photographic consultants and we'll go over some of the strategy, um, pricing structure, business plan, um, kind of what's next for you, especially when everything opens up. Because I wanna make sure that you guys are ready so you don't have to get ready. Making sure that when everything opens up, and your area of the country, just like here for most of Beach just opened up, um, it's uh, when it, things are open, what's gonna happen next? And how are you gonna adapt? What are you gonna do differently and how you can maximize 2020? And if you're worried about 2020, no big deal. What are we gonna do in 2021? What's next? When we go big in 2021, when all this stuff is over and we can move forward um, and we're gonna be scheduling weddings and events and things start to occur again in 2021, what are you gonna do to be prepared? How are you going to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a wedding, or to drastically increase how much you're earning on your portraiture? Cool. Hey, Kev, we had a good question actually for the panelists. Um, one of the um, attendees wants to know uh, for the panelists, what do you feel was the most beneficial aspect of attending the workshops? Okay, Doss, I'd love for you to answer this one. So this is the great Doss Miller. Um, he's an incredible okay. photographer uh, based in um, Indiana. And, um, and, and he also, um, he's just an absolute, genuine, amazing human being. So I'm, I'm really fortunate to have worked with Goss over the years. Goss, can you answer that question? What was the question again? I had my son step in the room. Reza, can you repeat that? Yeah, sure. I um, wanted to know from the panelists, what was the most uh, beneficial aspect of the workshop for you? Oh, wow. Um, it's hard to pick one. Uh, there's all kinds of benefits. Um, uh, I, this is kind of a, a question that can answer another one that I saw on the, in the, the Q and A portion. Um, being able to be a part of a, a large scale production, like, like you get to be a part of in the, the workshop series. <coughs> um, 
I had produced shoots prior to participating in the, the series, but um, just the skills that I've gained as a, as a shoot producer, just um, being able to witness, um, you know, a true high-end production um, has really, really added to my, my skill set. Um, so uh, that has enabled me to um, treat my weddings uh, in a much different way. Like uh, the, the entire process for me is more like a, it's more of a production from the start. So my brides and couples feel like they are, um, you know, they're, they're really, really taken care of. They're really um, uh, able to, to kind of relax and experience the whole process. Um, just because I've been able to, um, you know, gain the confidence and the skill um, of, pr of producing um, the shoot. So that's one aspect. Um, another thing that has, uh, that I've benefited from uh, in that same vein in production is um, someone asked as well, uh, or I, I saw a comment in there that you can't use um, uh, images that you've done with models in your wedding portfolio. Uh, and I, I strongly disagree with that. Um, one of the main things that I've done uh, in, in elevating my brand, because I, I had reached a ceiling in my market, um, being able to charge you know, $3,000, $3,500 starting point um, for my weddings. And um, I just, I knew there was a, a, another level that I could reach. And it's like, how do I do that? Um, I was able to break through that ceiling by producing um, styled shoots with models um, and making my own production and um, uh, appealing to, to a different market of brides. And, um, you know, depending on who your brides are, you can reproduce those uh, sorts of images on your wedding day if you make sure you um, have your hands in um, your timeline and producing that wedding day to make sure you have the time and and the uh, resources available to to produce those images on a wedding day. It's not impossible at all. I've 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 done it. So, um, uh, multitude of of <laughs> of benefits. And, and you know what, Doss? Can you talk a little bit about this? Because you have different brands, and I absolutely yes. love this. Uh, this makes me really happy to see. A lot of you guys do a lot of different things. Like maybe you guys do wedding and you do senior pictures and you do real estate and you do fashion and you do swim. Well, Doss separated his brands. So Doss has Doss Photo, which is a wedding brand and it's really spectacular, right? So this is really, really, you know, fabulous, uh, you know, wedding brand that's totally separate. And when I look at this, it's like, oh, wow. Like he looks like a world-class top photographer that does weddings and I'm going to hire him because he knows what he's doing, right? Um, and then I also can look um, vice versa over at, you know, his commercial work, which we just looked at, which is a totally different brand. And to me, you know, this makes me really happy to see because what Doss is doing is exactly on point. I have guided him on this over the years and it's really uh, taken effect to be successful. So I'm really proud of you, Doss, because this is really, um, it, you know, it really showcases some exceptionalism and I can see that you know the workshops have really panned out well for you over the years because you've been working with me for like five years or so, and it's uh, I can see the success over time. Yeah, it's uh, I mean I take huge golden nuggets from every every single one I attend, um, and it's it's great because uh, not only do you get the information and the the um, the notes and the the experience uh, at the at the events, um, you develop the relationships to um, check back in with and run things by. And, um, you know, it, uh, something else that's awesome is people from all over the country are, are doing these things. So you, you know, make friendships um, from photographer with photographers in different markets. Um, that's something I hear a lot. It's like, well, I can't, I can't charge that much where I live. You know, you live in this big city, you can't do that sort of thing in this part of the world or country or whatever. And it's really great to run things by other people in, in different parts of the country to, um, to see what, you know, what the, what the climate is like in, in the other areas, uh, financial climate, at least, what are people buying and paying for? So it's been really helpful just all, all around. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm proud of you because I'm looking at your imagery and I'm just like, my jaw's dropping because it's so beautiful. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Kate. And I think this was a masterclass we did in LA mm -hmm. um, years back. This was exceptional. Top tier models. This was in Dallas. This was in New York. And when you have that level of, you know, talent in your book, 
just like Doss said, that's okay. Even if you know you're, you know, you're, you get somebody said how they're worried about, oh, if you show it, if it's really a model, is that gonna like dissuade somebody because they want to see real people? No, no. I've never had a client ever that I've heard of that would like rather see some frumpy, overweight, unattractive person over a world class top model. They just don't. Okay, especially if they're gonna hire you. They wanna see the best of the best. And if it's done right, you know, and it looks like something like this, to me, Doss, this imagery just looks like it's, you know, this young, beautiful client who did an epic wedding at a castle. And I'm really amazed by it. I don't, you know, how would I know that she's in Vogue magazine or whatever? So to me, that's, the, I, it shows that uh, it works. It works really, really well. So I'm, I'm very impressed with that, Doss. Thank you. This is wonderful. Hey Kevin, real quick, one of the uh, Michael asks, my potential clients have a diverse ethnic background. Will your workshop models be diverse to help diversify my portfolio? Great question. Uh, yes, they will. We always have diversity at every single workshop. Um, you guys can all attest to that. Kenneth, Mary, and Doss. Um, I always like to have different ethnicities um, and, um, and even mixed ethnicities at all the workshops. Um, I think that that's really important. At the wedding and portrait workshop, not only are we going to have some different um, uh, diversity, but we're also going to have diversity in age, which I think is even more important. That way we can show different age demographics of, say, a bride and a groom. You know, maybe you have the mature couple that are getting married a little bit later in life. You know, maybe you have um, also the, um, uh, the child uh, model that's the flower girl because you want that iconic flower girl moment. Right. So having different age demographics to show families and to show amazing moments, I think that's really important. And that's why we include that at all of our workshops in some way or another, especially at any of our lifestyle workshops and certainly at our portrait and wedding workshops. But um, at all of our, for instance, our lifestyle workshops in Newport Beach, we're going to have mature models like elder models. We're going to have young adults. We're going to have child models. We're going to have all variation to create these very dynamic moments. Um, and I know, Mary, we were just looking at some of your epic work on MaryMucci.com, uh, where I think you attended like Newport Beach and maybe San Diego workshops. Um, and it was really special because what you created was all these different age demographics. And, uh, and with that, uh, it shows that, oh, wow, like she doesn't just shoot young adults, right? It's, uh, she does mature models as well. And I think that that can really be, that can add a lot of value um, to uh, your brand. Because, you, you know, she's got this beautiful stuff, um, you know, with young adults. And, um, but then she also has um, mature models as well. And, um, and I think that that can be, and also African Americans. We just did this at the Chicago workshop, for instance. Um, we have, um, you know, Latinos. We, you know, we'll, we'll bring in Asian demographic. We'll have um, as many different ethnicities as possible to me. I love, I love diversity. Um, and, and more, even more importantly, age diversity, um, which I think is really key right now. Everybody wants age diversity. Um, and, uh, and I think that that can really, really bode well, um, having um, different, uh, different demographics and, um, and also different ages. Absolutely. Um, these are beautiful, by the way. This was, this was shot on location at a castle uh, that was owned by the Countess of Poland at our Chicago workshop last year. So um, Mary uh, shot these there. That was really exceptional. Absolutely amazing. Uh, any other great questions, Rez? I love answering these. Um, well, let me see. Oh, nothing. There's nothing. Oh, there was one that said, um, sorry, real quick. Oh, yeah, one was good for you, Kevin. What made you change from wedding to commercial? And maybe I think, Kevin, tell them about your story and why you started the workshops, because a lot of people don't know how you ended up doing this. Absolutely. Um, so you know what, guys, um, I got into it because weddings can be great and you can make a lot of money doing weddings. Um, but my dream was to shoot high end advertising campaigns. I wanted to make those $200,000 a photo shoot kind of deals. I want to shoot less and make more. And a lot of you guys probably want the same thing. I coach a lot of photographers that are, in fact, I had a, a gentleman that attended our virtual uh, workshop um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, that um, where we did it on location here in Hermosa Beach and we worked with Valena from the supermodel from Vogue and we shot this amazing uh, production. But one of the interesting things about this gentleman was that he was uh, shooting 250 days a year and he was making $1,000 a day. But to me, 
like imagine if he could make 5,000 a day and he was making working 250 you know uh, days a year imagine or making you know say he's only working 100 days a year working much less how much more money could he be making so i feel like he is drastically undercharging and we talked about some strategies of how he can maximize and take it to the next level and earn more and make less so that was really important to me um, i'm really passionate about commercial photography i also love fashion i love telling uh, fashion stories um, and if you guys, I don't know how familiar you are with me or my work, um, but this is my work. So um, this is, uh, you know, my fashion brand, KevinSchmitz.com. You guys feel free to take a look and browse. And I love telling dynamic high-end fashion stories. And what's interesting is that although I shoot for a lot of major brands, I've shot for Levi's, Pepsi, Smirnoff, um, Miller Lite, Coors Light, um, Zara, I... I at, weirdly enough, a lot of the work on here is actually from our workshops because I'm so proud of the high-end production that we shoot at our workshops that I actually like it even more than a lot of my commercial corporate work because this work to me, I'm really passionate about. And most of these have been published in magazines uh, as well. So it gives me the opportunity to also massively increase. This is, by the way, uh, one of the shots from that video that you guys were watching earlier. This is from our Chicago workshop a couple years ago at the Palmer House, uh, which may be one of our locations for the Chicago workshop this year, which I'm super excited about. Um, and absolutely epic, published as a 10-page editorial in the LA Fashion Magazine. Um, and this was all done at the Chicago workshop. So absolutely epic. Um, but I also, guys, um, I, as, as much as I love fashion, um, I also got heavily involved into lifestyle advertising because that's where the most money is in photography, is lifestyle advertising. So um, lifestyle advertising uh, is like this. It's happy, healthy people having fun, enjoying life, living it up, and creating these dynamic moments that are absolutely spectacular, feeling like you're inside of the scene with the client. And this can be both consumer and commercial. But to me, I'm passionate about telling these stories. Absolutely incredible opportunities. Um, and then on top of that, I was also really blessed with the opportunity to be the TV director and executive producer of the TV show Great Escapes. So uh, the airs on NBC and the CW. Um, and, uh, and this is what I've been doing in the last couple of years is um, I've been uh, hosting, directing, and producing this epic travel show. So um, I uh, also have a tremendous amount of experience in the resort and lifestyle space. Um, and this is something that uh, I love to work with each and every one of you guys on as well, because we offer some epic workshops like this in Miami Beach um, that is absolutely spectacular. Uh, but this was uh, on location at Bora Bora, Latahaha, Rango Roa, Tahiti, Tokyo, Maui, Kauai, um, and six different islands in the Maldives. Uh, and Tokyo. And it was exceptional. It was a really fun experience. You can also find, in from, uh, find these videos on our website at photographyworkshopseries.com to, to learn more, to take a look at this. Um, but uh, if you guys are um, intrigued at this, we also do nine-day epic photographic travel expedition experiences that we're going to be having in 2021 uh, to Tanzania. Uh, we're going to have them to Morocco, Santorini, Mykonos, Bali, and they are nine-day photographic travel expedition experiences led by a National Geographic photographer, as well as myself, and photographing on location at some of the most epic destinations around the world. Um, so it will be absolutely spectacular. All right, Rez, any other questions before we go? I think we're good. Uh, we got some really good, I mean, great group today and um, some amazing questions. And the panelists were phenomenal. Excellent. Well, I really appreciate it. And thank you, Mary, and thank you, Kenneth as well as DOS, you guys have been absolute superstars. Not only is your work exceptional, uh, but you're all really exceptional people. And I just wanna thank you so much for being a part of the workshop series over the years because you, as amazing human beings that are great photographers and image makers and great human beings, you guys are what make the workshop series so spectacular. You guys are what make this such a success. And that's why I do it, because I love working with you guys and seeing the success. So the very last thing that I wanna do, you guys, is um, before we wrap today, is I wanna uh, get to actually going through step-by-step -step of some of these pricing challenges. So um, here, I'm gonna share screen with you guys, and I'm gonna show this one. Um, this is uh, Mary Peacock's original pricing from a few years ago, okay? Um, so this is a price list 
of um, different packages. They range from 2,500 um, to like 7,800. And, um, and you know what, you know, the challenge with a price list like this is that if you're willing to do something for 2,500, well, oftentimes clients are going to probably go on that lower end. Um, and you might get some of those nickel and diming clients that aren't going to be as excited about value as about world-class production quality. They're going to be more concerned about price, right? So that concerns me on a price package like this. Also, some of the things like, you know, package A, package B, package C, package D sounds really bland to me. It really could improve as far as the language and as far as the branding of it, right? So to me, uh, you know, this is a little bit like, okay, well, there's a lot of improvement here. And I don't know, maybe you guys have price lists similar to this, but to me, this is like, this could drastically improve. Okay. So, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, things like this, you know, including an, uh, engagement session, um, with USB and it's only for package B for only 39 or actually 2,500 includes an engagement session. Absolutely not. You're giving away the bank here, doing all this value, including engagement session and all of this for only $2,500. That's way, way, way too low in my opinion. I think that Mary, you could get away with a lot more than that. Um, and we wanna do it based on value. So what I like to do is make it so that the plan, uh, first of all, we don't have a bottom barrel plan like 2,500. Um, maybe we have a bottom barrel plan more like this. So I just made a few modifications. I have some more improvements to make, but um, this gives you, an idea of what her new price list that I've been working on with her in cover in, entails. And this ranges from 5,900 to 15,400. Now our goal here is to get in this range, the platinum $10,600 range. Okay. So we're going to offer uh, additional, um, uh, you know, additional options that are going to really get them excited, like adding value, like a high end fashion editorial engagement session, just like you saw here, we could create something like this for them. We can also include um, an additional photographer, um, online viewing access, you know, kind of the same as the rest of the stuff, but we're going to add the, the, the epic albums, uh, high-end albums, which I think you use Graphy Studio, but there's a lot of different brands out there that you can use. Um, and make sure that there's a lot of margin in that because it takes a lot of time and effort and energy um, and retouching to get those albums up and going. So I recommend um, drastically, uh, you know, making sure that your, your, how much you're, markup is reflects how much time it is. So for me, you know, if we can guide your clients to be in that $10,600 range, that would be a great bet. Now you also live in a region where there's a lot of money. You live in Boston. There's a ton of money in Boston and also surrounding areas here in the Northeast. People will pay this without question. People will pay this. Okay. Now, if you're telling me you lived in like rural Alabama, maybe not, maybe, you know, maybe you have to adjust the pricing a little bit accordingly to your destination or to your location. But if you do live in a rural area, who's to say that you couldn't shoot a wedding in Boston or a show, you know, shoot a wedding, a, a wedding in Beverly Hills or in, in Manhattan uh, or in um, Napa Valley, for instance? Um, there's nothing wrong with marketing yourself. Uh, yes, Mary? Oh, you're on mute. I just want to, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say, since I have changed my package pricing, I have done destination weddings. People are calling. I've, I've gone to Florida twice. I'm going to Martha's Vineyard. I'm going to Nantucket. I had a Kennedy actually what? inquire, and I'm waiting to hear. It's a long shot, but I'm hoping it's Bobby Kennedy's grandson. And these are, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, they wouldn't have looked at me if I was still $2,500. They just wouldn't, you know, um, and if they didn't have the portfolio I have that I have now. It's, it just wouldn't have happened. Um, and it, it happened upon me. I was doing a wedding in Boston at the state room and the wedding, um, the wedding coordinator there was, she's doing the coordination for this particular wedding. Well, I jumped at it. I gave her my card. I said, you know, please put me in the ring, <laughs> you know, so I'm in the ring. Um, we hope it happens, you know, um, but I'm just saying like the, the price packaging, um, it matters. I mean, they're not going to look at me if I'm $2,500 like I was two years ago. Absolutely. You know, they're not going to look at me if I don't have this epic, you know, website and Instagram that I've gotten with the photography workshop. And I just wanted to put that out there because if I didn't have that, that body of work, it, it wouldn't have happened. You know, both, uh, those, all those weddings, they wouldn't have happened. hundred percent. And Mary, I'm, I'm really proud of you because you're, you know, you deserve to have more. Absolutely. You deserve to 
absolutely take it to the next level and make as much money as possible because you are in a region where you have people with money, you have to dial into that ideal decision maker, which we're going to talk about at that epic wedding and portrait workshop in um, Napa Valley. So by the way, guys, last chance, if you want to attend that epic workshop, go ahead and fill that out, um, that link there, um, whether, um, and you'll get a $500 discount. Um, and that's to enroll in the wedding workshop with the special $500 discount now. Um, and uh, you can save your spot because it will be filled out. Um, because all of our workshops are either sold out or just about sold out. Um, because uh, we've had, we're actually starting to get waiting lists, um, which I'm really excited about because our workshops are epic experiences. And I know all of you guys, Mary, Kenneth, and Doss, you've had experiences of a lifetime, and I cannot wait to see what's next in your future in photography. So, um, so if you guys uh, uh, want to join us, I really look forward to it. If you want to know more about wedding photography and high-end uh, portrait photography, or if you're interested in commercial and going in that route, um, please get in touch with us. Uh, we are also, remember, offering a free 30-minute um, photographic strategy session with our photographic consultants um, this week. And if you go ahead, and uh, I'm also um, putting that link back there as well, um, that you can set that up and set up a consult as well. And um, I really look forward to working with you, each and every one of you, and maximizing your photographic potential for 2020. Because now is the time. Let's take it to the next level, and let's maximize our opportunity. So thanks, guys. And until next time, I can't wait to see you again.